Notice on this one, you now have variables in your first and your last terms. Right? Or every term has the variable in it. You're still going to treat it as you would any of the other factoring. Here we have our coefficient of 1, so you can just look at the factors of negative 90. What factors of negative 90 have a total sum of this middle term plus 1? Negative 9 and a positive 10. So because this is a leading coefficient of 1, we start with r's as our first terms. Because we have another variable y, we put that as our second terms, and then we use these numbers plus 10 and minus 9 are the coefficients of that y, and it gives you your factors.